simplifying a radical expression with an even exponent. We're asked to simplify the square root of 48 times x to the sixth. And the 48 is a whole number, so we've got one set of rules for how to simplify that whole number underneath the radical. But the x to the sixth is a variable raised to a power, so we've got a different rule for how to simplify that. First, starting with the 48 though, 48 is not one of the perfect squares that I have listed here on the right hand side. So what we're gonna need to do is try to rewrite that 48. And we wanna rewrite it as two numbers who multiply to be 48, but I wanna try to use these perfect squares over on the right hand side. And I wanna try to use the biggest one possible. So first of all, 48, I could write it as 4 times 12, but I could also write 48 as 16 times 3. So I want to use the biggest one that I can because when I'm simplifying, the larger one is the one that I want to be able to pull out to simplify as much as possible. So 48 is 16 times 3. So I've really just rewritten that part. And the nice part about the x to the sixth is I want it to be written as a variable raised to an even exponent. It is already written as a variable x raised to an even exponent. So what we will do is take out as much as possible from underneath the radical. Looking first of all at the 16 times 3, 16 is a perfect square, so it will come out the square root of 16 is 4. That will come outside of the radical. The 3 is not a perfect square, so it's going to have to stay inside the radical. But the x to the 6th, x to the 6th, when I have a variable raised to an even power, I can bring it outside of the radical, and I keep the variable, and I take half of that power. So instead of x to the 6th, it's going to be x to the 3rd. And then I still have the 3 underneath the radical. So the 16 came out as a 4, and the 3 stayed inside. And the x to the 6th came out as an x to the 3rd, taking half of it. And that gives us our simplified expression. 